生徒会が解散し Oh, don't make this challenge. Do not, do not want to activate Hayasaki Eye. Is that where this is going? No, 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 no. You just pushed the wrong woman. Eesh. Kaguya, that was a huge mistake. <laughs> I mean, Eye's loyalty is Kaguya. I don't think bad will come of it in the show. I don't know if this is me or a common thing, but have you ever been in the situation where you really want to, to do something, but you don't know how to do it? So you kind of push others around you to do it, but then you, you regret it when they actually do it. Because you see, oh, it actually is possible. I could have done that if I'd only had the courage, and you sort of hate yourself and spiral downward from there. You want to be the one to do things, you know what I mean? You don't want to play the supporting role in your own desires. The sad thing about Kaguya, too, is that she would be doing such a great thing for Miyuki by confessing and being honest a little bit. He would take great joy in reciprocating, but that chance isn't allowed to happen. The show's sort of calling attention to itself, to the fact that it's not really moving the romance along that much, although it is in its way. <laughs> is that I? It's sort of unrecognizable. I, I feel like she doesn't need to adopt a different aesthetic, though. Is she trying to tailor this to his tastes? Hayasaki Ai wants to charm him, leading with some of her offensive capabilities. Oh no, she's dressed as a Pokemon trainer. Why did you doubt? Is this one of his interests? I could perhaps recommend one for you. <laughs> this is boiling. Tragedy at the bookstore. Yeah. 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 You want to feel like you're useful and you're, you can be there for people. Especially pretty girls. If that was me, I would be frantically Googling how to computer. <laughs> like, what are good computers? <laughs> See what Google comes up with for that. He's eating it up though, like a like the bobblehead that he is. Why would he suspect lies at all? It's his style, alright? And porn! <laughs> Lots of porn! <laughs> Pokemon! Gotta catch them all! I feel like that had it literally out of Pokemon. Crushed in a press. Is she a fan of Does It Blend videos? Ooh, is it a computer or not? Johto is calling and they want their hat back. I'm gonna study the other two. <laughs> Relatable. Have you learned the blessings of black coffee? Caretaker instinct activated? Oh, she's got a similar sound noise too. Maybe they're actually a good match. What if I actually develops feelings from Yuki? He's generally an all-around solid guy. And I feel like it's a fact that having friends be interested in someone, it's not a guarantee that it'll make you like someone more, but it definitely brings them to your attention in a way that makes them seem more significant. I've had experiences in my life, especially very young, like middle school, early high school, where I was invisible until one person started liking me. And that seemed to set off a wave of interest, you know, when it rains at poor situation. I think it's especially the case when you're young, even if it also exists at older age, where we're all sort of looking for value. We're looking for desirable people. And one shortcut there, if you're working in a kind of vacuum where you haven't determined for yourself what good is, other people's interest in a thing gives a lot of points to that thing. It's a sign that there's something there that's valuable. And often there's a reason for that, but sometimes it seems to happen just out of nowhere. It's just one person's interest for some arbitrary reason creates kind of a, a false identifier of, of value and, and it can spiral out of control. I mean, it's the same thing as a celebrity effect to an extent. That can exist at a micro level as well. Did you actually knock out? I mean, she legit does work really hard. Or not. Must have been a really boring but angry three hours for Kakuya just standing there reading that book. Wow! I mean, why not, right? This is an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> Let's just see how it goes, you know, we can hang out. No commitment from you. You, you asked for this. Oh my god. 
He is one of the thousand. I wonder if she feels hurt by that in some degree. But I think we, we all lost here, except for Miyuki. Battle outcome. Yeah, she's gonna put her ego on the line there. There was no way to win that. There was no way to win from the beginning. If she got Miyuki, it would have destroyed their friendship. If she didn't, it's just a humiliating defeat. You blood. Kaguya wants a confession. WANTS a confession! In italics. Gee, if only there was someone charismatic in this room. Maybe it could include a dance. Huh, not the first name that comes to mind when I think of charismatic, but... Why does everyone sleep on Chika? In front of the whole class. Don't misinterpret that. Okay, everyone misinterpreted it. Everyone. Everyone knows but them. Why are they hugging? <laughs> they're dating. Let's embrace each other. I thought there were already rumors. Is that a creepy girl? Lurking girl? I'm waiting for her. Wasn't this part of their plan at one point? Get everyone else to believe they're in a relationship, which pushes them into a relationship? School tube. That sounds like a real blast. Everyone assembles. <laughs> wow. Everyone knows but you. Something came to mind recently after I posted the first episode of the show to YouTube. Because I was talking about confessions, I remember witnessing an epic confession in high school. It was wintertime and it had just snowed really heavily. And the way my high school was laid out, there was a basement level courtyard. So to walk the front steps and go into the entrance of the school, you're basically walking above this big courtyard where everyone took their lunch or whatever. And this guy wanted to confess to a female student and basically got a lot of his friends to coordinate this thing with, with him where they wrote a message in the snow that took up the entire courtyard that said, girl's name... I forget her name. Will you go out with me? Guy's name. And some of his friends met the girl after her last class of the day and escorted her down to the walkway overlooking the courtyard to see the message. And of course, like all her friends also were with her. And also the entire school was there because it, class had just ended. So like everyone who was finishing school witnessed this girl come out, see this confession and date proposal written in the snow and like viciously reject him and leave. <laughs> And I remember being kind of upset by that. Like, I didn't know him. And she doesn't owe him anything. So I'm not saying that she had to say yes, but I just felt for the guy, you know, it was like a, a nice gesture that would have been really nice for someone that actually liked him. It just felt like waste. You know, it felt like something beautiful torn to shreds. But this reminds me of that again, just because the whole school's in attendance. <sighs> This is going to be such a letdown for everyone in attendance and for Kaguya. Go big. Confess her right now. Seize the moment. Go big, man. He innocently arrived in the situation, but he could definitely capitalize on it. And there's the election to think about. Think about your political career, among other things. You could ask her to go somewhere privately. Chika is truly free. She is a free human being. <laughs> Oh no. Confess your love. I want to confess so badly right now. I can't imagine any other way out of this that is satisfying. Let's put that one to bed. That's a weird assumption. There we go, character growth. Do it. Do it. No! But at least no one heard that? Oh. Answer it in a way that makes it seem like he confessed. Giving the people what they want. Before you get trampled in the crowd. Troubles in election arc. <laughs> Is it her? Is it her? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for her. Who is she? Election predictions. It's a big deal. Ino Miko wants to make things 
Right. If I remember correctly, the guy who won my class's elections went up and gave his speech in a monkey suit and was like babbling nonsense and people thought it was edgy or funny or whatever. Is she the lurker? Why does it sound like he's afraid? For my competition? <laughs> That's the guy who takes academics super seriously. She cuts that kind of figure though, so you can pull people into that gravity. Speaking of signals about how to value people, because there's such a strong correlation between how other people treat you and how you act, if people can overcome that and act as if they were widely respected, people start respecting them. I think that's the, the principle behind act as if, or act like you've been there before, that kind of thing. To me, that's real and there's good reason for it. We don't realize how much we're being conditioned through social interaction, but there's a feedback loop that happens between who you are and how you act, how people treat you for that, and how you come to internalize that treatment. And there are downward and upward spirals that can occur in that, that can start sort of anywhere. You know, people being treated negatively for no reason in their environment can start that pattern of self-doubt and can make people start acting as if they're not worthy of respect, which, gives people a clue that they're not respected by others, that they're dismissible, if that makes sense, or, or you don't have to try as hard. Or people who are just naturally really strong or maybe even stubborn or, you know, whatever host of reasons, act in a way that is very, very unflinching, or they have something about them that others value, like beauty, for example. People treat them as such, and then they internalize that and act as if they are deserving of that. And either way, meeting someone for the first time gives you a pretty good snapshot of how they're treated, which, to a certain degree of accuracy, gives you some insight into who they are. The issue, and also the opportunity, is that it's not always accurate. It's a correlation based thing. It goes wrong when people who are really great kind of get in their own way and shoot themselves in the foot by displaying behavior that's sort of defensive or antagonistic because they're expecting negative treatment. It can be an opportunity when you take the locus of control into yourself and act as the person you want to be regardless of, of what you expect or what you've experienced and have very, very clear lines and can instill that feeling immediately in other people, developing a confidence that's more independent. I feel like people respond to that really strongly. So I get why Miyuki would fall into her, her gravity kind of. She kind of demands that from you. <laughs> Calling him out. Just tough, huh? They seem more convicted. That's for sure. She's no little girl. I don't know, you don't want to get arrogant here. You don't realize the threat. You may have just fired her up more. We're all big fans. Shiko could be president. Ooh, that's a good choice. I like this girl. I hope she wins. Oh, see, this is... You are ignorant. You, you do deserve to be out. If you don't understand Chika's gifts... I agree. Exactly! I'm, I know who I'm voting for. <laughs> right. Right, it's a very elite school. Average in an elite school is not average. She's well-traveled, she's kind, maybe most importantly. She's a love detective, she's the leader of a club. I'm so glad to see this. That she could love. She could just got poached under the freshman team. Oh, the confidence. I feel like if this interaction hadn't happened, Yuki would have been blindsided. Because they appreciate her. Something you should try sometime. Oh no, the possession of mobile phones. Oh, it's... She's too strict. <laughs> well, so much for that. I mean, it can only happen one way for the plot, right? But at least Chica got some love. That's what matters to me. She wasn't in this episode, really. Or in that skit. I got really pumped there. I thought it would have been great to have her start to win. I thought it was going to be a longer arc that battle. I know I like the show because I got so into it, I thought for a second that student council positions were important. <laughs> well, I really love the show and the storytelling. I feel like there's a little bit of a, a draw, drawback of the episodic format of it, because you sort of know it has to go back to status quo by the end. But I really like the freshman character, would not mind at all seeing more of her.